Good morning, this is uh, Pigsy. Doing another video. Um, I had a very odd dream. I mentioned about things that invade my dreams. I had another one. And um, I was in a fairly dark room, but I could have, I could see myself sitting in my chair. I felt like I was sitting in my chair, but the chair was in the middle of the room, which you know, didn't make sense because it's against the wall. And um, so I looked behind me, and there was this like um, group of. Um, well, they were more like spirits, what you expect to see of spirits. And, um... They looked like a family. I sensed they were a family of spirits, but they weren't, um... Yeah. I've got a picture, basically, of what I... of what my son saw me as in the past. He drew a picture of me, and it was like a giant amoeba, and it had, like, um... Or a bit like Squidworth off the, um... SpongeBob SquarePants. He had more like a triangular head. But it's black. It's black the entity. It had a more triangular head. It probably had little bits of white in it as well. So it's black. It had like specks of white. I don't know if that's chi or what, what was inside it. Um, yeah. So there was like this, there was a group of um, these beings, and the smaller one, I guess, was a child. So I tried to become a like friendly. I was like, talk, like I was really, I was interested in what they are. I went, ah, oh, yeah, so I sort of like, I sort of like this child, um, but even though I had like a same triangular head, possibly have what, only one eye, because, um, thank <coughs> you, cool, that felt better, um, yeah, because of this triangular head, it didn't really have much space for anything else, so, um, so it had a kind of like um, whiter orb inside its triangular head, and uh, as I moved towards it, I think, it, and uh, the small, the child, there was a sort of defensive reaction from this this family, like the adult that was there. I think they're just scared of us, and then I sort of try to find out why they're scared of us. It's so, all scared of me anyway, I guess it us as a group. Um, and I think there's something about putting the lights on. I think uh, light hurts them, or they don't like it. And um, they might feel that we might try to attack them or something. Which is all very, very unusual. But at least they were kind of like in the in that realm where they're more like gin, or there was something else. They weren't trying to mimic humans because I said that they had this like uh, this triangular head, like they were starfish or something. And it was a bit creepy, and it sort of made me... I woke up because I think I had a defensive reaction. But I could feel like... Um, as if there was a connection. You know, like a, um, a mind meld. As if they were trying to influence my mind. And I think they'd been in my room or been fiddling around with me for, for a while. It's only at this point where I started raising the consciousness. And it's, it's very interesting because I've been aware of where I've come out of the dream and there's been something else there didn't quite make sense so now my bot now i'm starting to adapt to it so it's not just my brain i think it's my my consciousness is adapting to the fact that there's other entities or it's it's a multi-dimensional and then i went off and had a had another dream and there was a there was a work colleague in there and a lot of people i've never met before uh, they were talking about things like sexuality and making sort of jokes it's like a group a group of uh, women together the thing is, the jokes and stuff didn't seem like they were coming from my mind. I was just reflecting on human behaviour or something. I don't know, I was having a chat with these people. So it may be one of these um, uh, Palladian type things. They, don't, they play these funny games as well. Because they're... Um, because they mimicked white people. Not necessarily what to know the sexuality of humans. It was that gym uh, being. I mean, it may be that a lot of the aliens are just gins who just want to disguise themselves and play games. And, um... That they're less... Um, less likely to be, uh... Like, what way people view um, beings from, you know, other planets as reptilians and other beings that might be completely different. Um... 
Uh, yes, the other thing, I've been doing some of this fasting, so I'd, I went 32 hours um, on a fast and then I uh, broke it with a, I had a large um, buffet breakfast and then I didn't eat anything, so I didn't eat anything the rest of the day and I went all the way around until the following day and then I ate something. So I'm pretty much doing that, like one meal a day, that's, that's, the, um, that's the focus, so uh, you might get some bits but I may eat them later because if they're not enough, you know, I can't, if I snack, then I'm going to be eating later again. So um, yeah, so it's, it's 24 hour gaps between one meal to the next, which is good. It's good to sort of cleanse the body. I'm not over depriving it of stuff. I'm not trying to um, put it into some endurance test. I mean, it could be. It could build up as the body adapts to us. Uh, to something, it can get stronger at it, which is kind of important because basically all the health problems, most of the health problems we've got, is down to people's food, it's related to their stomach and stuff like that. And it's uh, um, it's not natural eating all the time. Someone said it was because of some native tribe when it went over to. Um, when, it, when America, they went over there, but I don't think that's true at all. It's or an American system that come over here. I don't know about that. This um, free meal a day. I think the American system is is food and snacks. That's the snack system they've got in place as well. Um, so yeah. Anyway, this is uh, Pixie signing off, and I will speak to you soon.